Hello everybody and welcome to a new do-it-yourself video. Okay, I've probably said this like a million times, but I'm such a huge Disney fan and I was so excited to see the new Beauty and the Beast movie. Especially since I personally find Emma Watson the perfect belle. So I had to mark the special occasion with the Beauty and the Beast inspired do-it-yourself. And what better to create than the beautiful enchanted rose? But before we get to the tutorial, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up for more videos. First of all, you will need a glass bell jar like this one. Normally, I would always recommend Amazon for the best prices, but in this case, I honestly think you will find it cheaper in store. This one cost me 9 euros 90. Now take one or two pieces of paper, depending on the size of your bell jar, and fit it to the inside. Now with a thick marker, start creating the really cool frosty ice crystal shapes. I actually use the movie poster as my guide. Link to it in the description box below. Now we get to the best part. Let's paint this baby. First, clean the surface. To paint the design, simply use some matte top coat. Put some of it onto a piece of paper or foil, but don't use too much. These top coats tend to dry really quickly and it would be such a waste of a good nail polish. Secure the template we just created to the inside of the bell jar and let's start painting! You don't always have to follow the template, it's more of a guide. If you want to fix something or just simply remove it, use a Q-tip and some nail polish remover. Now that the jar is done, we need to work on the rose. First of all, you will need some transparent nylon thread. Make a small loop on the end and secure it with two more knots. The purpose of this loop is to secure the thread when we glue it to the rose and later to the glass. Now get your rose. Mine ended up being a little bit too big, but it was all I could find. However, I can totally recommend IKEA, they have the most beautiful roses. Unfortunately, there is no IKEA where I live. Now basically peel the rose petals until you get to the middle and secure the nylon thread with a bit of hot glue. If you end up seeing a bit of the hot glue, just use some dark red nail polish to cover it up. Now it's time to start bending and forming the curvy shape of the rose. However, this can't be done on all roses. These, like the ones that I have, come with a wire in the middle that allows me to bend it like this. I recommend trying to see if the rose bends before you buy it. 
To fit the rose to the jar, I had to shorten the stems and also ended up shortening the branches. Try the rose inside the glass jar to measure how long the nylon thread needs to be. Like before, make a small loop on the end of the thread. To secure the thread to the glass, I used some really strong glue. Put the rose inside the jar and make sure that the loop is completely covered in glue. Leave it to dry, preferably upside down, and you're done! Isn't this so beautiful? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As said before, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up for more videos. See you next time, bye!